Hydrogen vent tamer, what is this and how does this work? Hello to all the memes and bubbles. Let me explain what I did here. This is a pretty simple build that has the only function of cooling down the hydrogen that comes out at around 500 degrees celsius to a level where we can use it in regular pipes without our buildings breaking. For example, those gas pumps right here have an overheat temperature of 275 degrees celsius even though they are made out of steel. So if they ever would reach a temperature that is above that, they would break down. And even though this build is quite simple, it still took me a long time to come up with a design that is as small and hopefully reliable as I wanted it to. As always, if you want to know how to build these things, check out the link in the top right corner. So what is special about this build? This build is self-cooled by the output water of the steam turbine that comes out at 95 degrees, takes away from the heat that the steam turbine accumulates by cooling down the hot steam and then just drops it back into the same chamber, meaning the steam turbine always is under 100 degrees celsius. All the parts in the main chambers are thermally connected. Some of them act as buffer, while others act as thermal transfer units. The final gas storage that we have right here for example is connected via the metal to this liquid. In our case 200 kg of crude oil to the left and two pockets with each 100 kg to the right. Those amounts of crude oil also help with the water spreading evenly and the battery not counting as submerged. The hydrogen vent is erupting at 500 degrees celsius and since it is connected thermally to everything in this room, the output hydrogen is cooled down immediately, preventing our pump from breaking from the heat. The pump then sucks up the hydrogen, transports it through this radiant gas pipes made out of steel because steel has the best thermal conductivity and then stores the hydrogen in the infinite storage. By now you may already know how an infinite storage works, but in case you don't, gas that is pumped towards gas vents that are submerged in liquid are able to infinitely overpressure a room, provided that the amount of liquid the gas vents are submerged in is correct. For normal gas vents that is below 2 kg per tile and above 0.07 and if you have a 2 tile wide room it is always best to have less than 2 kg per 2 tiles. Because as you see right now liquid can behave weirdly and if you have exactly 2 kg in there the liquid may end up blocking one vent completely. If you have high pressure gas vents the limit is 20 kg. Both of these setups still need external power but you easily could make this a self powered build. I just don't think that it is necessary or reasonable. You could just use your stored hydrogen, feed it to a hydrogen generator and then feed the produced power back into the system. So there's no real need to make this self powered in one build. The settings are quite simple. This is set to above 3 kg. The here is set to above 4 kg. That may depend on how much your hydrogen vent erupts at. This here is at over 500 gram per second. This here only has 232 grams per second. I have added the thermosensor in comparison to my short. Not because it actually has a function. I set it to 125. But to not have to look at the red symbol all the time that appears if that thing is not running. Now a quick word on the material. The steam turbines are made out of aluminum. Those tiles here are made out of gold and those are made out of aluminum for quicker heat transfer from our storage to the room where the heat gets sucked up. The gas pumps are made out of steel and the radiant gas pipes are also made out of steel. The liquid pipes, the radiant ones, are made out of aluminum. Now let's quickly go through the overlays. This is the electronic grid, liquid piping, gas piping and the automation. We have crude oil in all these spaces and gases or gaseous liquids in these areas. Now that I've looked at this for so long, it might even be a good idea to place the liquid vent underneath the crude oil like creating an infinite liquid storage. Leave a like if this helped you or if this helped you understand this build better and now you can probably rewatch that video or check out one of the randomly selected videos on the screen.